We're starting today with one way to elevate the everyday and the suggestion to pull out your box of hand-me-down dishes and brace yourselves, actually use them. These pieces have stories, they have style, and you don't need a full set and perfect colors to have a lot of fun with them. Our inspiration comes from the self-confessed, dish-obsessed Miss Michelle Inkley. It's so great to have you. Thank you. We asked you, we invited you to come share your current favorite styling crush, and your response was dishes. I am having a ball right now styling dishes. Yes, dishes are so much fun, and you know where I kind of picked up this obsession of mine is I was at a thrift store in Arizona a few years ago. They were having a really hard time selling all of these sets of dishes that they had so they broke them up and they were selling them individually $1.99 for a dinner plate, 99 cents for a salad plate. So I started to hoard all of these dishes. I thought, <laughs> I'm gonna put these on the wall. I'm gonna give them as gifts. There's so many things you can do with these. And then I thought, why not actually use these as everyday dishes? Well, so often those pieces, eclectic or not, you know, in a full set or not, they get tucked away, they collect the dust. We're so scared. Why are we so scared to use them? I Yes, and I was scared too. I think because so many people say, oh, you've gotta wash these by hand, mm -hmm. don't put them in the dishwasher, store them very carefully, the gold is going to wear off so I understand why people have a lot of trepidation about using them but the thing is they're so beautiful they add so much color so much character so much life to your table why not use them I bought these for so inexpensively I feel like I'm throwing them in the dishwasher and we're using these for wait, peanut butter and jelly wait I sort of just gasped my heart did a little flutter you put them in the dishwasher I put them in the dishwasher I feel like gosh if these are gonna get ruined so what I only paid a buck two bucks for them they get ruined no problem I can pull something else out but yes we use these every day and you know I've got a house full of boys yes, and do. for them to be using these kind of dishes is a little <laughs> bit different it's fun they love it it's a great time they're it's beautiful. And we should emphasize, these are pieces you've picked up. These aren't like hand-me-downs, family right. treasures, family heirlooms. You might treat those, obviously, a little bit different. You know, I want to talk about that because I don't necessarily think I will. Really? I think it is such a tragedy that we spend hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars on these wedding fine china pieces, and then we stick them in a cupboard and never use them. And then at the end of someone's life, they end up at a tag sale or at the thrift That's store. That's true. What's the purpose of having nice dishes if you're not going to use them? I say seize the day, let's use these dishes and have a ball with them. I like the encouragement, PB&J, smack on the middle of this gorgeous floral plate. Well, let me ask you about sourcing. You mentioned you found them in the shop in Arizona. How in the world did you get them home? <laughs> <laughs> Was that a story in and of itself? Yeah, that's a whole other Where story. Where can we find good pieces like this that we can add or mix in with our existing tableware? So now is really the perfect time. Spring is coming, it's right around the corner, which means garage sales are happening, um, yard sales, thrift stores, secondhand stores, um, really anywhere that you can kind of pick is where you can find these. You can find them on eBay, you can find them on Etsy. They're everywhere. People are sort of getting rid of their dishes because we don't really live in a day and an age where people have fine, fancy dinners and special right. events anymore. And if so, we do, we're pulling out paper for those special exactly. events even. We're throwing yeah. away so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. yeah, so you can find them anywhere. So you're a collector of sorts. Did you feel the itch or kind of the frantic desire to collect a set or are you just piecing here and piecing there? I'm not opposed to collecting a set. It would be great if I could have one whole set but I just don't have the storage in my kitchen to do right. it and I really love the idea of having an eclectic table, having things that each of these plates and settings and patterns have a story and I like having that around my table to kind of look at, discuss. It's sort of a conversation starter so yeah it's fun will you tell us about your story and kind of explain how you've layered and styled and assembled here yeah so I have a gazillion dishes that are all shapes colors prints whatever the shapes are getting me too. just the edging and the detail right so beautiful what I have found so that your table does not look like some crazy circus is to <laughs> keep the colors consistent so okay. you'll see here that this has a really beautiful pattern of a flower, uh -huh. and this is a flower too, but they're not necessarily the same. Uh -huh. But layered together, it's really beautiful. So if you can stay consistent with the colors, then it looks like it's more cohesive. Okay, all right. Here, it does look like a matching set that you've layered. It's not. This really? is actually a teacup saucer that you set here. But why do you need to use a teacup saucer for a teacup? You can use it for dessert. You can use it for as a bread plate. You can use it for, you know, anything that really you, you want. And here you're playing with the pattern, right? The different, from the floral to the polka dot little Right, effect. right. Isn't that pretty? That's gorgeous. Yeah, and you'll notice that it's different colors, but it's kind of all very neutral, and these are kind of the same family, so it looks really good together. And if you have a cup, like, and these goblets, 
Um, These are amazing. Like, this is actually right back here. This is a Hobnob Target knock knockoff for oh, five dollars. Oh, Hobnob is that a brand? So it's kind of these are the That's little knobs. What you call it? Okay, right. okay. This is the reproduction, five dollars. This is actually the vintage one here. Oh my goodness. But yeah, everything that's old is coming. Um, new again. So a lot of these are creamy, they're dreamy, they're in the off-white, even faded a little bit, sort of a sort of a vibe or feel. Can you mix in, I think a lot of people, I, I know I do have a standard white set of dishes. Yes. Can you work in the bright whites with these? Absolutely. So the re one of the other reasons that I kind of have been using my antique dishes as my everyday wear is, uh -huh. I don't know if you can see how banged up and scratched yeah. this plate is. Yeah. This is from a big box store. A lot of us have these, maybe in a white or you know whatever color. I've stopped using them because I don't want to use that if I have a dinner party. It looks dirty. It's not. It's just scratched. Uh -huh. So you can actually use this by layering it if you just take here. Our little thing How can here. I be your assistant? Yes. You can just actually take any of this and put it on here, and it looks really beautiful just by layering. You can put one of your plain Jane dishes, a really beautiful dish on there, yeah. and it looks like you've got a really fancy. So you don't set. think the bright white kind of diminishes or takes away from the antique vintage vibe? Not necessarily. Okay. It's just kind of putting jewelry on the table. If we are kind of in your file of collecting and appreciating those old antiques, are there any particular patterns or stamps to be looking for that are of value? You might want to check that out because sometimes you will come across a plate that is of value. Now the way to check that is most antique plates have got a um, little stamp there. Right. You'll see it tells you exactly what kind of a plate it is or what kind of set. If you go online and Google what kind of plate you have. Oh, that's a fun exercise. Yes, you can actually see if your plates are of value or not. So you might find something. Grandma's dishes might be worth a whole lot more than you think they are. I chased this down. I inherited my, my grandma's couch. It's green. We talk about it all the time on the show. It's like my prized possession. But there was a stamp on the bottom. I was able to Google that and track down like the furniture where it, the house where it was made back east. And it was so fun. There's a new appreciation that comes when you know the history or you know the piece. Right. Right, right, exactly. And things back then were made so much differ differently than things are now. And the quality is so much better. And it's fun to find those treasures. Are there any treasures here in the, in the vein of tableware and dishes that could be worth anything? Honestly, I haven't even checked. Okay. Because I don't know if I necessarily want to know. If Doesn't I've got matter. something of value, I still want to use it. It's a tragedy not to use something and then have it sold for a dollar at a thrift store when it was never used during its life. Yes, yes. And the table linen, I have to I have to point out to adds to this whole vibe. Is this vintage? This is vintage, yes. yes. And these table linens, you can find at secondhand shops. In fact, this was from the Old Flamingo. You can find them. There's a market coming up this weekend in Salt Lake. I'm sure there will be tons of this kind of thing there. It's fun to have a really beautiful table, and even you if you're just having peanut butter and jelly. Yes, peanut butter, PB&J, throw it on the china. You mix flatware I noticed too. The silver yes. meets the gold. Yes. Now flatware is a whole nother story. Me, I think it's a little bit more fussy just because a lot of the flatware that's really beautiful is either real silver or silver plated uh -huh. and that tarnishes and you have to, there's so much maintenance that come with that. So I don't really go for the antique flatware. I just use my regular old stuff okay. and it looks just fine with it. You've inspired all of us. Thank you so much. Good. A blog post about this I know coming yes, up. Yes, yes. So if you check my blog for the number four men, one lady. Okay. Dot com. Yeah. It's inspiring. Just pull it out and like Michelle said, PB and J for everybody. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.